Hello everyone, Zarvolt here, and today we're going to be playing more of our red and black uh, deck. Um, this is part two. Okay, what do we have? We have four land, Bomat Carrier, and a couple of artifacts. I guess we'll keep this. Um, put a red down, put Bomat Courier down, and start attacking. And hope they don't have removal. They've got the uh, Oketra is their thing, so maybe they've got white uh, spells. We'll find out here in a second. Hopefully they don't lead into a black and then a fatal push. Okay, evolving wilds. What is it? Is it white? It's colorless, okay, so Eldrazi of some sort, okay. We got more mana. We don't need more mana. Um, let's attack. And uh, we'll put out our smuggler's copter here so we can start um, drawing and discarding some of these lands. Hopefully we get another creature. Okay, it's blue-white. Okay, cut to ribbons is good. Um, let's go ahead and attack with a copter. Okay, we drew Obnixilis. Um, in that case, I'm going to put Cut to Ribbons in the graveyard. Since we did draw Obnixilis. And I'll go ahead and get our um, some more mana here. Let's get a black, I guess. Doesn't really matter. We've got uh, two of the other ones. And we'll play our Heart of Kirin. But yeah, since we got that mana, I'm going to get um, Obnixilis out, since we drew the mana for him. And uh, let's see what they've got. They've got an Anointer Priest. Okay, I see in some games this Anointer Priest really going off. I wish I had the um, Cut to Ribbons now to get rid of it, but I don't. So, um, we'll go ahead and play this. Put a Scrap Heap Scrounger down. And uh, let's attack for a bunch in the air. I don't think I'm going to discard this land or um, Obnix list of the copter. I think I'm just going to go with what I've got. We're doing seven to them right now. Let's attack them to eight. Let's see what they got. Do they have any kind of removal or bounce? Um, they've got uh, Bant color, so they could have Reflector Mage or something like that. Saram's expertise. Um, I I don't think they're gonna they're gonna gain some life. They're gonna gain three life, but I don't think it's enough to. Um, and they got Eldrazi Displacer. Okay. Can't displace anything yet. They played uh, Eldrazi Displacer off the free play from uh, the Saram's expertise. But uh, we got a bunch of flyers, so... Uh, yeah. We are going to... Let's see here. We can ribbons for three. Um, we can attack for... I need to get rid of that Eldrazi Displacer because we can't kill him. Let's see. Four and three is seven. And then we could um, cut to ribbons for just three so that would leave him at one. 
So I don't need to do that. I think I'm going to play Obnixilis and get rid of the Eldrazi Displacer because that card is very bad news. This right here, because it can uh, exile uh, your creature and return it on the battlefield tapped. And they can like do that right before you attack, so I'm definitely going to get rid of that sucker. And uh, Obnixilis is probably going to die, but that's okay. don't think I want to get rid of the Stropter Engineer with the Ecopter. I think we'll just hold it. And uh, this next turn we can attack and uh, cut the ribbons unless they play something like a, a Brawl's Expertise or something. I'm thinking that's one of the few cards that can get them out of the uh, situation where we've got them dead. I don't... let's see. They know we've got the ribbons in our graveyard. So they've got Eyeless Watcher. Okay, that is going to give them some life. Two life. Okay, I don't think that's enough. Do they go for Obnixilis? That's fine because we're going to kill them this next turn with flyers. Yeah, there's nothing they can do. We've got ribbons in the graveyard. Yep. And we attack for seven right now, so either way we had them. Let's see what we would have had. Okay, more land. Yeah, we didn't need that. So in the next two matches, we play the uh, same person twice. Can we uh, win twice or lose twice or uh, win one and lose one? Let's find out. Okay, we've got a bunch of land, but um, I like what we've got, so I guess we'll keep this. Let's go ahead and put this out and uh, I guess get a black. It doesn't really matter. Okay, green black. This is a uh, hissing quagmire. So, okay. We'll put a red out, and then we'll put our copter out. And if we start drawing more land, we can get rid of it with the copter. Now, they've got green, so they could have a, a reclamation sage. Okay, blue green, blue green and black. Okay. So we've got double glint sleeve siphoners. So we'll put one out and start attacking. Do I discard a land? I don't think I discard a land yet. I think if we draw one more land, we'll discard it this next turn. I don't know, they may have, if they got a Reclamation Sage, then I probably should have discarded now, because they'll get rid of our uh, Smuggler's Copter, and then we won't be able to discard this extra land. They've got red also. Okay, so they've got, so far, white is the only color they do not have. Is this some sort of Planeswalker deck? Primal Druid cannot block us, okay. So that is good. Carry Ziv. So we can put both of these out. Let's see. Glen Sleeve Siphoner. Let's crew up the copter. And 
let's go ahead and tag. Let's not discard anything yet. Can't block that because it has menace. Okay, if I put Carrie Zeb out and they've got radiant flames, then I will be really sad. Let's see if that happens. If they have radiant flames, then we've probably lost this. Yehennies, okay. That makes me really sad. And anguish I'm making for our copter, okay. I thought about keeping them um, carries it in my hand. I should have. Grasp of darkness. Okay, so we've got removal for their creatures, I guess. Gift of paradise. Okay. They're ramping up into something big. They got a heart of Kieran. Okay. This is definitely some sort of planeswalker deck. There's Chandra. Okay. We need something good. Nahiri. Man, this is not turning out good for us. Planar Outburst, okay. Guess we'll get a red. They crew a part of Kira and we um, grasp of darkness it, I guess. Nissa, okay. Go ahead and take care of Nissa. Okay, there's your henny, so that's good. Um, we attack with your henny. Um, then it forces them to crew up their. Um, let's see, they're going to be able to um, exile your henny. Okay, they're crewing a part of Kieran, so we can get rid of that. So their creature died, so Yehini becomes a 3 3, but Yehini can uh, exile him. So let's see if they do that. Okay, Sandworm Convergence. Not good. Yeah, that Yehenny's expertise is what got us. I should have saved Kiri Zev. Okay, there's a cut to ribbons. We can use it if they block with the worm. Okay, let's... Oh, we can't use it. We can definitely kill Nahiri, but then he's going to come back and kill Chandra with, his, with our worm, so that stinks. Okay, no way of getting rid of this, so I think we're going to have a hard way to go. I don't think there's anything I can do to uh, win this now, unless we get Sky Sovereign or something and start attacking in the air somehow. We can't do that because of the Sandworm Convergence, so... I 
he's got two worms. Okay. Okay, he's got commit. Okay. Now we're dead in two turns from the worms. Yep, the uh, Carrie Zev, I should have saved her back instead of putting her out, and uh, I got too greedy versus a Planeswalker deck. Yep, that's what happened. Three worms, can't attack with flyers. Okay. We got the cut again. Okay, we'll just ribbons for three, because he's got us this next turn. Yeah, I've been thinking about redoing my um, deck. I've got the Sandworm Convergence, and uh, I've got that and Cruel Reality together. So I've been thinking about redoing that deck. That may be one of the next decks I do. Okay, what do we have? We've got... Okay, we've got a pretty good hand this time. Get our black mana. We've got Scrap Heap Scroungers ready to go this time, so that is good. White mana, okay. Okay, that is good. Let's get our um, <clears throat> let's sleep softener down and start attacking so we can uh, draw a few extra cards. Okay, how do we do this? Um, put our Aether Shrew Harvester out. Start attacking in the air. Gift of Paradise, okay. So we get to start drawing a bunch of extra cards. Okay, some more mana, that is always excellent. World Fast Engineer. Crew up with that. And we hit him for seven. more energy, so that's good. Seven. That's going to take him down to fourteen. What does he have? Obnixilus. Okay, we can definitely kill Obnixilus. Okay, Thropter Engineer. Scrap Heap Scrounger. Okay, 
crew up like this. Okay, let's kill Obnixilus. And we're doing seven more damage to him. And he's probably going to have a Radiant Flame or something like that this turn, but we're going to bring back two Scrap Heap Scroungers. And we'll have the Harvester, so... Okay, a Johnny. What's he do with a Johnny? Exiles or Scrounger, that's good. Because now I think we've got him. Okay. Scrap Heap Scrounger comes down, has haste. Yep. Well, you've got him this time, so that's good. Okay, one land is not going to do it. One land? Golly, where do I keep getting one land? Three land, I guess we keep this. Well, at least we got a planeswalker finally. We just need one more land. We got two, three, curve out pretty good, so maybe this game will be alright. And we did get to go first. They've got green, so... We'll see what happens. Okay, I gotta play the black next and not the smoldering marsh. Make sure I do these things in the right order. Carry Ziv, though, is ready to go. Okay, Evolving Wilds. Good, we can attack first. Let's see here. Play this. Play this. Attack with Carry Ziv and our token and do four damage. Okay. Good start. It's black and green. So they have a fatal push for our carry Ziv. They've got to read the bones. Okay, that's awesome. They lose two life. We put Chandra out. Things are going pretty good for us. Unless they get a language coming. And he has to discard. Okay. Put Chandra out. Probably um, exile something good. Sky Sovereign or the other Chandra. Um, unlicensed disintegration. Okay, we're hitting for five. Put him down to seven. Okay, good. If, we, if they don't do anything, Chandra will do two. This other stuff will do five, and we'll have them dead. If they've got a language right now, that's going to make me sad. Is that what he has? He's got a Yehenny's. Okay. Just as bad. Yeah, 
And he's got a gift of paradise, okay. Let's see what Chandra gets for us. Um, we do not want to cast this spell, do we? Let's see, maybe we can ultimate if he doesn't have a never. He's probably got a never in his hand, though, for our Chandra. If he doesn't, then maybe we can ultimate her. Or a haste creature. He's got to read the bones, okay. Man, if we could get a hazard or something like that, we would be ready to go. Liliana, okay. Let's see what we draw here. Hazard would be perfect. More land, okay. Let's see what we can get out of Chandra. Okay. She can ultimate this next turn. Let's hope we can do that. Hissing Quagmire. What does he have? He can... How much mana can this... Add two mana of any one color. So, whatever mana he wants. He's got, um... Four... He's got six mana. So, what does he have? He's got to stop our Chandra, though. It's the main thing. Because I'm definitely going to ultimate her. Okay. Does he pull out a creature for the battlefield? No. Does have never to return though to make a zombie, but I don't think that would be good. That would be good for us because then we could just ultimate Chandra and then unless it's disintegration is creature. I haven't seen any creatures yet though. Not sure what he's got though, I guess. Hmm. He's taking his full amount of time, so he's going to run out of time here pretty soon. So, I think we've got him, unless he's got... If he had never, he would have already played it. So, maybe he's just being mad, and uh, that return, if he would have drawn that, that would have been what he needed. Okay, so he's setting it up where we can win now, because we've got the uh, unless it's disintegration. Yes, because what we'll do, we'll uh, ultimate Chandra. And then unless it's disintegration, is creature. And do five to him and win. I don't think there's anything he can do. No counter spells. Yep, okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate the uh, subscribers and the uh, people that like my videos. Uh, thanks a lot. I appreciate it.